Hi, I'm Nick. And I'm Matt. We are seniors at Colorado Mesa University, here to tell you about five steps to get you through your five years at CMU. Right, so these are kind of the things that, that Nick and I talked about. Man, I wish someone had told us this stuff when we started. No kidding. Right. No kidding. Because we've both been at this for a while. And, and, and we are actually finishing. Yeah, yeah so, we are done in May. So we can actually talk about this list. Absolutely. Sort of. I mean, something horrible could happen and we may not finish. Yeah, we better not. We better it, not it'd have to that. be a very large meteor. Yeah, so let's get right into this. Number one. Hey, dress comfortably. Mm. I'm talking to a lot of you. I, I And I've been known to walk around in sweatpants and pajamas. pajamas. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I think an important thing to remember is this isn't a job interview. This is what you do before you have all those interviews. You are paying to be there. Right. And trust me, nobody cares what you're wearing. Nobody cares. They don't. Ouch. All right, number two. Show up to class. Yeah, hey, show up to class, even yep. if you're in your pajamas. Exactly. As I just stated, you are paying for this. This is your experience. If you don't show up, that's that. Well, and it's kind of a sponge theory. If you're in class, you're at least exposed to the information that the professors are throwing at you. So even if you're sitting there doodling or texting or whatever, it's on some level, those things, all that information, the wah, 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 is, is, is going to sink in. But you're not going to get that if you don't show up to class. It's really not that hard. You're paying for it. And I can almost guarantee you that 80% of your grade is showing up to class. Absolutely. Number three, find your procrastination sweet spot. Right. So I included this, Nick, because I'm a heavy procrastinator. As am I. And my first few semesters at CMU, I was kind of freaking out all the time because I found that I was doing everything at the last minute. But it turns out I do all my best work at the last minute. Exactly. So I don't want to tell you not to procrastinate. Just kind of find that, 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 that little sweet spot of time where you do your best work. Because I mean, nobody goes right home and does all their homework. Uh, there may be a few people like that, <laughs> but you're probably not one of them. I know we aren't. We aren't. Right? Definitely right now. So not. find the sweet spot. Number four, don't eat at the UC. Please don't do this. Ugh. Please don't do this. I I just lost my appetite. So. Uh, right, right. Anything. The only reason I've survived it is because, well, you know, I'm older and I've eaten a lot worse. But, but, but don't eat there. It's, 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 it's overpriced. And, well, the cafeteria is good, I hear. Yeah, yeah. Okay, that's a better alternative. Eating at the UC though, the the, the book cliff, yeah. that's probably going to knock about ten years off your life, and yeah. they're, probably, they're probably some of the good years too. Yeah. And finally, number five, there is a finish line. Right. So this will all end at some point, and you know. <laughs> yeah, it does. No. So you it know? does, and you need to take your time. Like, don't take it for granted, because before you know it, it's going to be gone. Uh, you know that happened in high school, right? That same thing here. Guess what? It's not going to last forever, unless you're Van Wilder, and even then it doesn't last forever. And with that, enjoy your five years at CMU. Absolutely. Hope to see you at the finish line. I'm Matt. I'm Nick. And we just talk about stuff. All right.